I'm really glad I caught the promo for this episode before I watched it. If I'd have just walked into it without knowing about the cartoon theme, I'd have thrown a brick at the screen at the heart explosion scene. <laughs> Season 8, Episode 8, Hunteri Hiroitsi. Oh, and we follow up the best episode of the season with another stinker. Why the hell can't Supernatural just keep a streak going here? Do we really need to keep on going back and forth between good main plot episodes to these bad, inconsequential one-offs? And writers, guys, guys, season one was good, but we don't have to keep trying to go back to it. The show's moved on since then. Lots of crap's happened. It's really getting obnoxious that you keep trying to relive the glory days of Supernatural. And wait, glory days? I don't know about everybody else, but the glory days of Supernatural was season 5. That's when stuff was great. Not to say that I want every season to have some big apocalyptic plot or anything, but just that it follows a good, strong arc, instead of jumping back and forth from real episodes to one-offs. And we have a strong arc established already! The Prophet, Tablet, Crowley, Naomi, Angels, Demons thing we have going here is good! I just feel like this jumping around is an attempt to elongate a season, and that's not a good thing for a show at all. You don't want your audience to feel like you're wasting their time on stupid crap while they wait for actual substance. I think the fandom would be getting tired of this by now. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm asking for too much. Maybe I'm being too critical. It does seem like most every hardcore Supernatural fan just loves these shtick episodes and can't get enough of Sam flashbacks and whatever. Either way it is, I'm disappointed in somebody here. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that was a rant. How about I talk about the actual episode, eh? Okay, so this episode has a cartoon theme to it. So the show gets to take advantage of the fact that it's owned by Warner Brothers. So it uses clips, sounds, and other references to classic WB cartoons throughout it. Which I admit is kind of amusing, but like I said in my rant, I want more substance here. Cass is back, so we get to see him doing things. Which is appreciated, but... They really try to bring him back to early cast. He doesn't get the references, he acts like an alien. And it's just not right. Why is he acting like this? He's been through a lot now. Why are we throwing out his character development for this sh shtick? So more disregarding substance for the sake of cheap amusement. Glad my fellow Supernatural fans are getting more of what they want! Oh wait, no. Sometimes Cass references things himself. Playing bad cop? How does he know about that, but not about cartoons? This episode also features, you guessed it, more Sam flashbacks! This time, Amelia's douchey dad comes to visit and meet Sam, and I don't give a flying ass! Was it really necessary to hit the dick father-in-law trope? Really supernatural? And the flashbacks still don't have any relevancy anymore. They just happen at any time. In fact, the first instance in this app, the last thing they talk about is a bladder infection. So I was like, uh... Where the hell is this going? Am I sure I need to see this one? But of course, I was giving Sam flashbacks too much credit. It didn't have relevancy, it just happened. And this app's flashbacks end with the revelation that dun dun dun, Amelia's dead soldier husband guy is actually alive! Doesn't mean I give a damn though. At this point, the only way I'd like these flashbacks is if they pulled some big twist and they were all some illusion or angel plot or something crazy like that. I don't know, I'm just I'm just yearning for substance here. So in conclusion, a 6 from me. After all that complaining, you'd think it'd score less, right? Well, this episode isn't the worst or anything, but in a way, it's the one that pissed me off the most. It's just compounding all that is wrong with this season. Trying to go back to season 1, avoiding following a good arc, character development being forsaken for shtick. It's like, okay, season 6 and 7 were either meh or bad, depending on what kind of disposition I carry on the day that you ask me. But they also didn't have too much to work with. They got themselves stuck in a bad spot, as far as writing is concerned. This one, however, has huge potential, and it's being squandered. And also, this particular episode just made me find myself wishing for Gabriel's return, if you know what I mean. And they were definitely trying to harken back to changing channels here, and bringing that episode to mind doesn't do any favors for this one. But judging the episode by itself, on its own merits as entertainment, as I always try to do with these shows, I'll stick with a 6 out of 10. It'd definitely get at least a point lower, though, if I considered the rest of the season. Or hell, the rest of the show? If I ran things that way, things would be getting 1s left and right here. But at any rate, there's my thoughts. 
Next week, we have another Benny episode, and I like those. I consider those to still be main plot episodes. They have enough relation to Purga stories that they're more relevant to me. Oh, Purga stories. I already so miss you. Okay, well, that's it. See you next week for more thoughts, ass butts. Oh, what? It's the mid-season finale already? Son of a bitch!